in the electrolytic cell flow of electrons is from this is a controversy question actually in the electrolytic cell only ions flow will be there ions only moving from one to another because for example if you take NaCl it will be giving you Na plus and Cl minus so sodium plus will moving as a cation to cathode and takes electrons and becomes sodium it will be going to anode anions will be going to anode and releases electrons they release electrons and cl2 is formed that means at anode electrons will be rich okay now so and cathode there will be electrons requirement so this question becomes very very interesting in the electrolytic cell flow of electrons is from actually there is no net electrons flow only ions will be moving from one to another one and it is done on the cost of electricity by using electricity electrolytic cell will working if you take this example you can see NaCl gives you Na plus and Cl minus ions sodium plus becomes sodium this is at cathode so cathode electrons are required and the Cl minus here electrons will be released and that becomes uh, Cl2 here okay 2 Cl minus minus 2 electrons gives rise to Cl2 so these electrons that means at anode electrons will be rich so this question is a controversy type of question some books it is given cathode to anode internal supply some books it is given anode to cathode external circuit external circuit won't be applied here cathode to anode is the solution that is also not possible actually so controversy okay now leave it don't worry much molten cucl2 is electrolyzed using platinum electrode the reaction occurring at anode is anode is cl minus will be losing electrons to form cl2 correct 